Hi, I'm Justin Lima. I'm the EMS captain here at the Harmony Fire Department. I'm here to talk to you about our trauma bags. All of our trauma bags on all of our apparatus is the same make, model, size, shape, color, and configuration. So let's go to work. On the left side of the bag, we have our major incident, major bleed kit. We have two cat tourniquets out of the plastic wrap, and we have two Israeli dressings. We have two chest heel devices, and we have quick clot combat gauze. On the right side, we have a pediatric cervical collar, and it's wrapped actually in a sand splint. So that's so we can store more equipment in the bag. And so when we go to deploy the cervical collar, it's the same shape as the net. On the inside of the bag, you'll notice that all of our devices are secure with elastic bands. We have a flashlight, a couple pen lights, trauma shears, rain cutter, and a writing instrument. We have BSI kits at the top, along with a burn sheet and state-issued MCI beams. We have a manual suction device with the attachments. We have an adult cervical collar in the same fashion as the pediatric collar, but wrapped around a bottle of irrigation fluid. On the left side of the main department, we have a hot compress and two cold compresses. We have assorted tape and we have rolled clay. If you notice, some of our devices are clearly marked in plastic. We have uh, band-aids, two by twos, four by fours, and five by nines. These are all clearly marked for low light, high stress situations where we may need to recruit members of the public or other agencies to include law enforcement to assist us. So if we go to ask them for a device, it's clearly marked. On the left side, we have gloves, again, clearly marked with the sizes. We have Purell hand sanitizer. We have triangular bandages and some patient data forms along with a Mylar blanket. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please contact me. Thank you. Now let's put all this back.